They came in droves, tens of thousands of people. What they had in common was their desire for a more just and equal nation. Looking back at these faces, 50 years later, raises the question of whether this remarkable point in modern history signified the end of silence in America, or perhaps the beginning of a new age of innocence. There was a delayed impact of the Second World War, because in the Second World War, many African Americans uh, were conscripted and served in the, the armed forces, and they were all told that they were going to fight racism in Europe. And then they came back home to racism again. From that day on, they also had a one voice from one man who expressed the essence of all their hopes. His name was Dr. Martin Luther King. Let the nation and the world know that we are tired now. Yes, sir. We've lived with slavery and segregation 345 years we waited a long time for freedom. Martin Luther King understood that in order to change something in a democracy, you need to shift the center. And I think that what he managed to do is not change racist opinions, but rather tell Americans that the civil rights movement was speaking in the name of core American values. King raised in a religious family, became the voice of the civil rights movement overnight. His vision that the sons of the former slaves and the sons of the former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood became a reality, to some extent, soon after that rally. In 1964, a year after the march on Washington, the U.S. Congress passed the Civil Rights Act that put an end to segregation. But soon after, the dream became a nightmare. In 1968, Martin Luther King was assassinated by a sniper in a hotel in Memphis. Without an authoritative and moderate figure like King, the black power movement lost direction in the 70s and became more and more radical. It did not achieve its full aspirations. Because if you look at the full I Have a Dream speech, you see that it's a speech that clearly speaks for integration. But what happened afterwards is the rise of black separatism. And people started looking at Martin Luther King as if he was a kiss-up, an Uncle Tom. Take a few pictures. Take a few pictures. Fifty years after the march for jobs and freedom, it seems that King's dream has been fulfilled, but not entirely. With a black leader on the top, but also continuing tension between blacks and whites, and ongoing discrimination, Martin Luther King can look down from above and be half satisfied. This is not the time for nostalgic commemoration, nor is this the time for self congratulatory celebration. The task is not done. Their journey is not complete. But maybe the masses of people converging in Washington, D.C. this week, 50 years after his memorial words, are evidence that Martin Luther King's speech was a call to all minorities, and perhaps to everyone who shares values of freedom and love.